There are times when iPhone updates fail but it doesn't mean your phone is broken. This can be due to a few factors that interrupted the iOS update. More often than not, such an issue is not really serious and you may be able to fix it just by doing a couple of pretty easy procedures. In this video, we will show you how to fix an iPhone 13 that can't install the iOS 15.2 update due to an error during the download. First solution, check your internet connection. First and foremost, you have to make sure that you have a fast and stable internet connection, preferably over a Wi-Fi network. So what you need to do is to run a speed test to give you a glimpse of how fast your internet connection is. Here's how you do it. Launch Safari. Log on to speedtest.net. Once the page loads, tap go to begin the test, and then wait until it's finished. Once the results are displayed on the screen, try to see if the current speed is close to the speed you've paid for. If your connection is way lower than what you should be getting, then try rebooting your router or modem. It often fixes slow connection issues. You may also want to double check on the network your iPhone 13 is connected with. Second solution, force restart your iPhone. This will refresh the memory of your iPhone as well as reload the apps and services, including network services that might have some issues. This is a quick and easy procedure but pretty effective in fixing minor issues. Here's how it's done. Quickly press and release the volume up, and then the volume down button. Immediately after releasing it, press and hold the power key for at least 8 seconds. Wait for a little bit for the device to power up. When the Apple logo appears, release the power button and allow your iPhone 13 to continue the boot process. When the reboot is finished, make sure your iPhone is connected to your network and then try to update it again. If the problem still occurs, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, check the iPhone storage. The size of the iPhone software updates vary in size but they often range from 1GB to 3GB. If there isn't enough space left, your device cannot continue to download the update and it will surely result in a failed update. So you have to check the storage before you proceed. Here's how. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Find and tap general. Find iPhone storage and tap on it. Check if you still have enough storage space left. If you only have around 4 gigabytes left, then try finding some apps that you don't use anymore and uninstall or offload them. You may also delete some of your pictures and videos just to give way to the new update. However, if you still have enough storage space left and this problem continues, then try the next solution. Fourth solution, delete the previously downloaded software update. If the previous software update failed, then it means that your iPhone already downloaded the update but it might have been corrupted for some reason. Since the update file is already downloaded, you won't be able to download it again until you delete the previous package. Try to follow these steps to delete the previous package and download the latest iOS version. From the home screen, launch the settings app. Find and tap general. Tap iPhone storage. Find iOS 15.2.1 and tap on it. Tap delete update, and then tap delete update at the bottom of the screen to confirm. Once deleted, go back to the general settings page and tap software update. Wait until your iPhone finishes the scan and tap download and install. Depending on your connection, it might take several minutes to download iOS 15.2.1 so just wait until everything is finished. As far as fixing failed updates are concerned, these are the things you have to do to make your iPhone 13 run on the latest iOS version. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling the notifications. Thanks for watching.